Hello and welcome to Cable Plus Property, your number one online educative platform on all issues related to land and landed properties. My name is Oiza and as always, I always love to be here, you know, to get you educated and informed. This is where we provide you with every information you need to know about building construction, acquisition, documentation, registration, and even obtaining your planning permit. So you can be sure that on Cable Plus Property, you're getting first-hand information on anything related to land and landed properties. In this episode, I'll be speaking with the immediate past general manager of the Lagos State Fiscal Planning Permit Authority, no other than town planner Fumi Oshifuye. Come with me. Town planner Fumi Oshifuye is a pragmatic professional town planner of repute who had occupied vital leadership roles in the public service leading to his appointment as the then general manager LASPA where he recently retired. Town planner Oshifuye is a future city visional, eclectic town planner, environmentalist and a law graduate. He was once saddled with strategic master plans for Lagos State prior to his appointment as the general manager of LASPA. Town planner Oshifuye was an icon on ease of doing business during his years in public service, fellow of Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, NITP, Institute of Corporate Administration, Association of Human Resources, and member of Nigeria Society of International Law. He is currently the managing partner, City Advocacy and Solutions Limited, a firm of town and regional planners based in Lagos. He is a friend of the environment and documentaries lover. Join me as I welcome on today's episode town planner Fumi Oshifuye. Okay, so without wasting further time, let's get straight into discussion. And my first question is, all developments are policies and functions of LASPA, that's the Lagos State Physical Planning Permit Authority, and LAPSCA, that's the Lagos State Building Control Agency, take place on land. Now, how is the choice of land by prospective developers? How does it affect the output or functions of both LASPA and LAPSCA? Yeah, <clears throat> thank you. Uh, since um, both agencies you mentioned are related and uh, they have uh, their operations linked to the landed properties that is on the land, mm. so to say, development on the land. Um, a lot of uh, developers definitely comes forward that they want to develop their properties in line with their intentions. But I realize that the majority of them, rather than coming directly to physical planning, either our ministry or LASPA, to inquire about what they can do on that particular land, they have already formed their opinion, their mind, mm. what they want to do, rather than coming for inquiry first. They don't come for inquiry. Rather, they actually went ahead uh, to get their, their, their transaction finalized with the land department, mm. so to say, who are not ready to even or know or in knowledge to let them know that uh, for anything you want to do, you have to first of all speak with a physical planning. And the physical planning will be able to advise you through the information, which we call the planning information, or making contact to any of our district offices. Once we know the location, we'll be able to tell you that uh, this is what you can develop mm -hmm. on that land. And we find that uh, times with that number, they come to us with their, uh, their proposals, and we find that these proposals are not in line with the development plan for that area they really want. Is uh, more or less. Uh, a, a bit uh, a issue for us mm. for now to tell them to tell to turn them back that uh, this is what you can use for that land as it gets to your intention or their proposals so and in summary sir i'd like you to give a candid advice to yeah. developers out there or prospective landowners you know from everything you've explained what is your candid advice yeah. to them in my candid advice is that they need to come to physical planning either to the Ministry or to the Lagos State Physical Planning Permit Authority and bear it all with us that this is their intention, whether they want to build a hotel, 
whether they want to do this type of a, 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 a development or the other where we know that we we'll checklist that against what the development plan speaks for that area when they know what the development plan for that area is then they will be informed what type of development their development might not even be in that area at all mm. so once they know that and if it's in line or in sync with the development plan for that area then they can go ahead and perfect their uh, 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 land transaction with the uh, party that is selling the land to them and come up with a survey plan come up with actual drawings and the uh, other professional design drawings which we can now be reverted back to us and revert back to us so that we can now uh, 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 process their planning permit for them and they can get a uh, uh, going on the land Thank you, sir. As a retired general manager of the Legal State Physical Planning Permit Authority, what can you say are the functions of LASPA? Uh, <clears throat> LASPA has a whole lot of functions. Uh, the one that uh, I'll quickly mention few ones that the public need to know, mainly. Uh, the first of these is that uh, LASPA is in charge of uh, issuance and processing of planning permits for any development in Lagos State. Last part is also uh, when we talk about any type of normal permit, be it building plan permit, be it renovation, restamping, um, uh, demolition permit, fencing permit. These are the permits being issued by Last Part. Also, Last Part is also uh, a charge uh, to um, develop more area offices. When I was in service, uh, we were at a uh, 30 uh, this is of his mark. By the time I left, I learned that there are about 41 now. Mm -hmm. And um, the goal is to uh, cover the whole of the uh, 57 local government and SCD altogether. That is about 57 in all. And the um, last part is also uh, to have records of all the permits done annually and uh, put them uh, in the newspapers as well as the legal state. Uh, uh, um, a gazette, so to say, but the moment it is in gazette, it becomes a, a legal tender, and uh, which where anybody can uh, take us on on that. And um, we have other things we do, like the uh, last part, the, um, they also uh, produce some development plans, some local plans, um, um, like um, action area uh, uh, plans for some areas that is at a strict level, and these are amongst other things that. Uh, Last part also handles. Like I've told you that uh, we have a whole list of... And last part is also uh, to make sure that uh, there is a zero tolerance to any illegal development in tandem with uh, last, last part as well. Both of them must work together and do all this. Why was LAPSCA, that legal state building control agency, established? And what are the functional relationship between the two of them? That's LASPA and LAPSCA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for asking that question. Um, initially, it was a, we call it a Lagos State Physical Development Authority. It was out of that Physical Development Authority that Lagos State Building Control Agency or authority was carved out. Um, the, the whole lot of what LAPCA is doing today was together harmonized with uh, LASPIDA, so to say, at that time. And uh, because of incessant building collapses here and there, Hmm. And uh, they believe that, uh, okay, let us have another agency that will see to the production of uh, build, buildings. And that is the reason why LAPCA was being removed from uh, 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 LASPIDA, so that uh, a, a creation of uh, two agencies are now formed. Las, uh, LASPA, which is a, a fiscal plan authority, and the uh, Lagos Stability Control Authority. What LAPCA will be doing here is that LAPCA will be looking at uh, the production from the from the uh, from the uh, ad issue to the time of occupation that the every stage to stage uh, certification of construction works that will what be the the uh, 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 lacquer will be uh, 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 um, looking at why last part will be looking at the processes of planning permits after the permit the, a copy of that uh, a plan of the permit must be sent to uh, LAPCA in readiness for the developer. When the developer is ready, the developer approaches LAPCA so that I want to start 
then LACA will now issue what is known as a letter of uh, authorization to construct uh, to commence construction. So at this point, you find that uh, whatever LASPA is doing, LASPA also have the knowledge of it. Mm. And the uh, two deliverables here, one is permit from LASPA, the other one is a uh, building uh, certification and the occupation of that building at the end of the day. Hmm. Interesting. As our, our audience would like to know, what is planning permit? Yeah. From the word permit. Planning permit is just the approval given or an authorization given for the time being to develop uh, a site or a plot. It may also apply to subdivision of, of layouts. It's as, also part of it. And um, what I mean by the type mean is that uh, when you have an approval or authorization to develop something, as long as what you got that approval for is being developed, no problem. But the moment you have a variation or deviation from that content of that approval mm. or permit, then you are now talking. In fact, at that point, that permit ceases to exist. Mm. It doesn't become valid again. So it's just a simple authorization or a license to do something that government has assented to. That is what planning permits is talking about in relation to development on, on the plot of land. Wow, I in like that. In line with the development plan. Very concise and explanatory. So what are the various types of planning permits and what are the implications of not having them? Yeah, we have various types of planning permits, but I will just call them down. Um, the very first one I want to talk about because I want to begin from the base is the layout permit. Like I've mentioned that a planning permit is covers subdivision layout. Mm -hmm. So that is number one, the subdivision layout. The building approval, which is also known as a planning permit. Everybody is talking about planning permit. Planning permit covers a whole gamut of uh, approval. So building approval is a planning permit. It's a type of planning permit. And in this regard, let me also break that one into two. We have the one for a vacant land. That is, means a proposed a, a building and we have the one for existing building then we call that one as built planning permit so under the building proposed a, a building permit or a building approval we have to as built permit and uh, a proposed permit we also have a renovation permit that is where you want to do a slight renovation maybe improvement to that building Maybe you want to change the window, schedules from what it used to be. That is the renovation. As long as it does not affect the structure of the, of the building, just the cosmetic of, of lift, uh, liftment of that building, that's renovation. We have a demolition permit that concerns existing structures on the land. I want to remove this and I want to have a new structure on the ground. Mm. So you must have a demolition permit. Uh, the stamping, maybe it's uh, the one you have. If it, it becomes a, a stolen or missing, you need to do what is known as a restamping. You bring us, a, 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 a make a design of what is on the on the ground, and uh, we will look at it against the, uh, uh, our database, and we issue you a, uh, a restamping. And uh, we also have a fencing permit, mm -hmm. fencing permit for a vacant land. You want to take ownership of your land. You then you have to uh, um, cover your land with your uh, perimeter fence. Then you have to have the, the fencing permit and a whole lot of others. That the, wow. the, the, uh, the discussion goes on. We would definitely go into more. Okay. Yeah. So what are the implications of not having yes. this when, permit? When you do not have planning permit, it means because the law that sets up in the authority last part. It's a, a, a law and it, it means that uh, it's a legal and it's, it's an institution. So when you do not have it, then that means whatever activity or operation you are doing on that land, it's illicit and it's illegal. Mm. And if it's illicit and it's illegal, it's either the building is totally removed if it's not uh, approvable. But some that could be approvable, there is a procedure that you can uh, uh, go through to validate that building on the land. 
and because government uh, is of the opinion that uh, because you have done wrong it not necessarily means that uh, we have to remove everything all at once we will look at it then you may also be asked to go and do what is known as a integrity test of the building on, on that side on the a, a proviso that that building has met the general plan for that area has met engineering integrity then you can have uh, the, 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 the leeway for you to uh, regularize it to become a valid uh, department and you will be penalized mm. for doing that for carrying that illegality in the first instance wow yeah okay let's take a quick break and we'll be right back on the show Cable Plus Property, the hub of professionals in the built environment and the number one online educative platform on all issues related to land and landed property. At Cable Plus Property, our aim is to ensure that all Nigerians and non-Nigerians have at the tip of your fingers, free of charge, all information on landed matters. We provide you with all information you need to know about land procurement, land documentation and development, planning permit procurement, procurement, building construction, and so on. Join us today for free by subscribing to our YouTube channel, like and follow us on our social media platforms, and check us on our website www.cableplusproperty.com. Together, we shall make our environment better. Spend and build right. Hi, welcome back. This is still the Cable Plus Property Show, and I still have with me in the studio town planner Fumi Oshifuye, the former general manager of LASPA. Briefly, briefly sir, I um, would like you to state what are the most important and compulsory documents required to obtain a planning on land that is vacant? Yeah, first thing and foremost, before you can say this land belongs to you, there must be uh, evidence that this land is yours. That's the title evidence on that land, land title evidence on that land. Be it a, a stamp duty receipt, be it the deed of transfer, deed of a gift, deed of a, 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 a CFO, whatever, or any uh, registered title with, with lands. You must have that. You must have a survey plan covering that land, which must be properly georeferenced and the record copy lodged with the Office of the General. Then you must also have uh, your own intention, how you want that place to look like, that is the proposal in terms of architectural design and the uh, uh, order, sometimes it may not, uh, 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 professional uh, design drawings, might be structural drawings, in some uh, kind of building, you might, you might also make sure that you have what is known as a mechanical analytical drawings. This, when you have all these, yeah, you must be a task compliant person with the state. And uh, you bring this one to the, uh, the state government office, to the uh, various uh, district offices where your property locates. And they will do, uh, do what is known as a screen of those uh, the documents for you. Once they are in line with what Lagos State wants, it will be processed. Mm. And you get your permit at the end of the day. So talking about processing, what makes the processing of a planning permit for residential development different from commercial or institutional development? <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, basically, um, like I have mentioned, there must be a development plan for that area. And if your development, the development plan says that this is what a residential building should locate, and this is where commercial, industrial should locate. Once you get that one right, the next thing is the documentation. Like I have mentioned now, the documentation. Because um, for residential, even with some residential, there's some magnitude of residential that require certain additional uh, 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 documentation. For example, uh, if you have your units of uh, uh, the flats or number of uh, uh, units in the building, it's in excess of eight units. You must provide us with a physical planning technical report. You must... Um, um, uh, and if it is a non-residential, then you must also provide physical planning technical report. In some cases, we may also require that you, you give, um, you present what is known as a environmental impact analysis a report, depending on the magnitude and the 
technicality involved in this regard. Because, for example, if we want to build uh, uh, um, uh, what, what do I call it? Um, uh, not even PFS now. You want to build a, 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 like a private airport. Mm. It, you know, it's out of the blues that this kind of thing comes up. Or you want to have a tank farms, right? You cannot have all this without a environmental impact assessment report. What is the impact will be on the surrounding area, even in the immediate surrounding or far from that area? You need to have all these as an additional to the initial uh, documents I have mentioned mm -hmm. in, in, initially before wow. these things could be uh, could be processed. Okay, so I'm moving on. Um... In, some, in some cases, uh, uh, TI uh, transport impact assessment report or traffic mm -hmm. impact assessment mm -hmm. report mm -hmm. or a social impact assessment report. All these are depending on the type of uh, what you are bringing on board. Mm. You, this is a, but for simple approvals, what the one I mentioned earlier on relates to a, a, a simple residential uh, uh, a development. Mm. Why beyond that, then we can ask for or request for other that things. Special uh, document. Uh, special document. In fact, they are they more or less force within the uh, 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 lane of a uh, of uh, special applications. Wow. Yeah. Okay, sir. So, uh, moving on, is obtaining a planning permit and complying with its content is it meant for some categories of people? If not, <laughs> who, according to the law, is expected to obtain a planning permit before construction? Yeah, like I have mentioned, I, I told you that the planning permit processing uh, is a derivative of a law and regulations. So nobody is uh, 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 exempted to to meet what the law says. Okay. So everybody, including the president, the governor, the uh, really? the, uh, yes, yes, because law is no respect of anybody. So since this, the law that sets up the the, uh, the the authority that sets up the regulatory body is a law, and there's nothing in that. The, the document that says that uh, these people are exempted from it. Mm -hmm. So it is everybody, both corporate, individual, and private, are covered here. Everybody needs to have a planning permit, even including the military people. Mm. So the president, for example, cannot um, decide to want to build his house. He can just go ahead with it. No, no, it's not. No, it's an aberration if anybody does that. Hmm. Hmm. So, on what development can a planning permission be obtained? In, virtually in everything, in every development, because um, it goes down to say that what is development itself? Hmm. Development are things that happens on the land, right? It happens even over the land. When you hang a, a signboard in space, it's a development. Hmm. When you burrow into the ground to scoop certain things from the, from the ground, it's a development. If you had, or there is a change in material setting of a certain area, it is a development. So, this the, the, well, by the time we are talking about the, the word the development here, it means that everything under the space or on top of the space or hanging are forms of development. Therefore, planning a, 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 a permit covers all. And we expected that such thing that you want to do within this category must be reported to uh, the, the authority for proper guidance and the permit issuance. Interesting. Wow, it's been a really insightful and educative session with you. Thank you so much, sir. But before we finally round off, uh, my last question for this episode is: Would like you to say something about the Cable Plus property endeavor? You know, give us uh, pieces of advice. And also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, I've been a lover of a, a cable plus a property. Wow, yes, well, that's yes, impressive. Yes. And there's no time that uh, even with some, uh, some discussions that are outside my uh, um, uh, discipline, I actually take time to read through them because I learn a lot from all this. Wow. And Thank you. Uh, in fact, you have been seen as a, a feedback voice. To government, even to the people, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to say kudos to you. Please keep it up. 
Thank you. I pray that uh, your your endeavor will be more much much bigger than this. Mm, in, yes. in so long a time, you you find that uh, you will be uh, com competing with uh, the best in this profession. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And again, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I do. It's, I do. It's very free. Do. Thank you so much. And that was another mind-blowing session. I trust that you have been educated in simple and clear terms. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. It's free. Yes, very free. Hit the subscribe button, like the video, turn on notifications, and also share this video with friends, family, and colleagues. You can also head on to our social media pages on Instagram and Facebook at Cable Plus Property. My name is Oiza and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.